Today, I'm going to talk to you about another one of God's creatures. Uh oh, he is so little. Now, he's got a cute little face, but he kind of scares me sometimes. I don't think I'd want this as a pet. Now, some of you might have this as a pet, and that's good. I'm glad. But Mrs. Stewart, it kind of scares me every time I see one because it runs so super fast, it kind of startles you when you see one. Oh, this little animal likes to live either out in fields or they like to live in dark places. Mm -hmm. One time I found one in my attic. Somehow it crawled its way up into my attic. And you know how we knew it was up there? Because this is what we heard. Do you hear that? That's how we knew. This little creature, on his toes, he's got a nail, a really sharp nail on all his, all four of his toes. He's got a toe here and toes here and toes here. So all four of his paws, that's what I'm trying to say, all four of his paws, he's got some sharp nails so you can hear them when they're crawling around and we could hear them. And we went up to, Mr. Stewart went up into the attic and I came behind him and I saw it and I went, ee! It is a mouse, a mouse. Now, they scare me a little bit, but they do have cute little faces. They do. Let's look at this little face. Look at this mouse right here. This little mouse, God gave him two little ears. They're very thin little ears. And God gave him two little black eyes. They're very shiny. But you know what? They can't see very well. They're almost blind they can't see so well. Blind means you can't see. But these ones can, little mouse and mice, they cannot see a lot. Mice is when there's a lot of them. So when the mama mouse has babies, we call it her mice. These are her mice over here. Let's count the mice. One, two, three, four, five. Well, they have these little black little eyes that they can't see very well. And then they have, oh, they have these really cute little things that come out like here, kind of like kitty cats have them. What are those called? Yes, those are called whiskers. And they have little whiskers that grow out right there by their faces and they have cute little noses. Now, I've seen them in different colors before. I have. I've seen them at pet shops before because you can buy them and they can be like a pet. And there's white ones and they have almost like pink eyes with their pink little nose. And then I've seen the ones, this one, like this, out in fields, running around in a field. If you are live on a big field, maybe you, maybe boys and girls watching, you have a barn. Maybe you've seen these animals out in the barn. They love to live in barns. You know what they like to do? They like to crawl all the way up, up into the loft area. Sometimes barns have a loft area where you keep straw and hay for the animals, and that's where they like to go. They do. They like to go crawl up in there, and they like to run around up there, and that's where it gets kind of scary because you never know when you're going to find one, and then all of a sudden it just goes shoo, runs right by you or sometimes it could jump out at you and that's when it gets a little scary. Mm -mm. Mrs. Stewart does not like mice. I do not want one of these in my house. Nope, I do not. Mm -mm. Now they're cute. They have cute little faces but I don't want it in my house. Mm -mm. Now this little mouse right here, he's a field mouse. What kind of mouse is he? Field. A field house. It looks like because she has made her home out in a field. Now this is, looks like a pot that somebody probably had a plant in and they just kind of dumped it out and left it there. And so she had her little mice. Those are when you have a lot of mice, when you have a lot of different mice right here. And sometimes they can have four babies or they can even have up to seven or eight babies at one time. Oh no. Mrs. Stewart does not want those in her house. Mm -mm. And one of my friends told me that they had a, some boxes in their barn and they saw a little hole in their box. It looks like this, just like a little hole. And some little droppings of the box where the animal had chewed, the mouse had chewed it because they kind of chew up the little hole, they chew up the paper or the box and then they kind of spit it out because they're gonna use it for like a nest and they got inside the box. 
and they didn't know that's what was in there. And when they, but they heard it. And when they opened up the box, there inside the box was a mama mouse and her babies. Now, the baby mice, when they're born, they're really little like this. They're like the size of a jelly bean. Have you ever eaten a jelly bean before? If you like jelly beans, go like this. Mm -hmm. Jelly beans are good. And they come, when they're born, they're pink. They don't have any of this stuff all over them. What is all this stuff all over their bodies? Fur. It is, it's fur. And the fur that keeps them nice and warm. But when they're first born, they don't have any fur. They're just pink. And they're about the size of a jelly bean. Now, they don't get very big. They're only about this big. Go like this. Go like this with your hand. They're only about this big. But sometimes they have really long tails. Sometimes even their tails longer than they are. But they love to get into boxes and they like to chew or in the wall. Sometimes if you have like a wood wall, they will chew their way through the wall and they'll keep all that stuff in their cheeks. And then they'll go and make a little nest with the stuff that's in their mouth. And they make a nice little soft nest and then they will have their babies in there. But that's what little mice like to do. And they like to eat all kinds of things. They like to eat whatever they can find and they will just scurry around, and that's why sometimes you will hear them and they sound just like this. Go like this on the table with your nails. That's what it sounds like. All right, hands in your lap. So you can go home and show mom, and mom will probably say, I don't want a mouse in my house. Or maybe you have a pet that's a mouse, and that is fine for you. I'm glad you do. But they can be gray, they can be white, and they can be brown and white just like this. So it could be a field mouse, and they live out in the field. Yes. Mm -hmm. Or they could be little, they could live in barns or inside your house. Sometimes they do that. They get inside the walls or they like to get in those boxes or way somewhere where it's nice and dark where they can go and live. But they are, they are really cute. They do have those cute little faces. And what are these things called right here? Whiskers. The whiskers. And do they see very well? No. no, they can't see very well, but they do have those pretty black eyes that God gave them. And they do have ears so they can hear and they protect their babies right here. And if they, this is a mouse, but what is it called when there's a lot of them? They're called mice. mice. Say mice. mice. Yes, they're called mice. And oh, look at that. Look at how fun it is. This one lives out in the field and they just collect all kinds of things. They just like to collect all kinds of trash and things that they think they need to make their little nest. Oh, mice are so cute. They are not, like I said, I don't want one in my house. I don't, but they do. They like to live in barns and they like to live in your house. They sometimes could get even inside your what? Wall. In your wall. So if you ever see like a little hole inside your wall, there might be a mouse in there. Well, nope, you probably don't have one. But maybe you go and you visit your grandma or your grandpa and they have a barn and maybe you can say, do you have any mice in your barn? Could we go look? And you could go in there and you could see if you could hear them. You'll know they're in there because you'll hear. You'll hear that and you can hear them because how come you can hear them when they run? They have what on their feet, on their paws? They do, they have little sharp nails that help them to be able to crawl up the walls and to dig inside so that they can get into where they wanna go. And they could live out in the what? The field, or they can live in a barn, or they might just find a box to live in. You never know. You might be moving someday. Open up a box, and there would be a cute little mouse in there. But yeah, Miss Stewart doesn't want it at her house. No, no, no. If I see one at my house, then Miss, Mrs. Stewart's going to walk out of her house, and Mr. Stewart's going to have to find it. And I'm not coming back until he gets it out of there. Mm -mm. But they are cute. They do have those cute little faces, and those are fun. You could have a mouse for a pet. You could, and it would be fun for you, not for Mrs. Stewart. Mm -mm. Some of you have a dog. Some of you have cats. I have a hamster and some goldfish, but I don't want a mouse. Would you like to have a mouse? No. no. I don't know. You could. Boys and girls watching, maybe you do, and maybe it's cute and cuddly, and you like to hold it. I don't know, but that's fun for you. But isn't it neat to learn about God's creation? Some are really big, aren't they? Like the great big elephant. And some are really tiny, like the little mouse that God created. And it has a really long tail, but it's really tiny like this. And what size is it when it's first born? A size of a what? A jelly bean. A jelly bean. Yeah, you, it's the size of a jelly bean. But when you look at it, you'll know not to eat it. You wouldn't want to eat it because it really doesn't look like a jelly bean. It's just the size of it. And it's pink. 
like the color of a jelly bean, but you can tell. And they are kind of cute when you see them. But God created these little animals and I'm glad that we get to come to school and learn about them every single day. That's so fun. It's fun to learn about the pets that God gave us, isn't it? It is, and we should take care of our pets. It's fun.